All right, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Caswell Customs. It's probably gonna be a pretty quick one because uh, I'm just doing a really small modification to the nitro. Um, so you can see on here I've got this rack, um, but the problem is, is this tail light is literally right in the middle of that rack. I mean, it gets right in the way. Can't really put anything there. So I bought a tail light. It's actually similar to the trailer tail lights that we're gonna put right across here. So we're gonna get rid of this reflector, maybe shift it up here and put that light right here. So I'm gonna show you how to get that installed and get it working. Plus what I noticed is I just took this off. This clip is actually broken. So it's really not holding together anyways. So kind of needs to replace anyway. So not a bad option to just go ahead and do it all together. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. super simple we got this off as you can see this is much more cleared out now uh, probably need to bang this down a little bit looks like you got a little little warp there but uh, I'm gonna drill this out and get the hole drilled for this so that that can sit flush and then run our wires up into there so this one's out So that is finally off. Now I'm going to drill my hole to mount my new one. So it's roughly going to be that big. So I'm going to just use a step bit. That way I can roughly get it to the right size. I'm just going to put it right about smack dab in the center. And we'll call it right there. See if we can't route this all through there. Okay, take out just a little bit. not even I can tell it's a little bit more off to the left my bit started skewing to the side as I started this but uh, hey it's good enough for me I'm not super worried about it so we'll screw that in and then we'll get this all wired up So I'm going to take the wires that are down in here, um, these ones, and wrap them in electrical tape, try and protect them a little bit more, and then uh, I'm gonna get one of those plastic uh, wire loom um, protectors. Um, that way, you know, track hits it, it'll be okay. It'll be okay against this, and uh, that way it won't get damaged or break. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it for now, and I'll get that later. Um, and then I'm going to test out the wiring, make sure it's all good, and then I'm going to splice it all together. Alright, so just testing out color combinations, and we've got red to green, black to blue and red, and white to black. Got that all in order, I'm going to go ahead and show you a test real quick, but then I am going to splice it all together, mount it up, and we're going to be all set. Alright, 
right, so as you can see, it all works. So now we're gonna wire it all up, run it through, and call it a day. All right, so we got everything wired up. Not super clean, like I said, I gotta get some stuff to protect it, but uh, it's here, it's working. So uh, let's go ahead and show you in full effect on the back of the sled. Beautiful. So as you can see, works great. Um, it's just it's a lot bigger light, so hopefully it'll be seen a little bit easier, and it clears up all this space, so I can actually get um, you know stuff here without it interfering, and actually get it down into this area. So think about carrying a spare camera case. That way, you know the actual camera person will have it. But uh, you know, got it all set up, ready to go. So uh, this is pretty much ready for winter. You know, like I said, we got the new track on it. Um, there's nothing else we really had to do, and um, then you know we added the reverse, and we got this. So I think we're pretty much done with stuff with the nitro. Uh, now it's just we need a little bit more snow, and uh, so we're looking at going up to the UP probably the second weekend in uh, January, as long as there's snow. Otherwise, it looks like we're supposed to get hit pretty good in Gaylord, so we'll probably go around there. But uh, definitely snow content coming very soon, hitting the trails, hitting some of that deep powder, doing some boondocking, staying in the trailer. So super excited for more snow uh subscribe to the channel if you want to see all that that we're going to be doing like the video uh if you found this was helpful just you know a neat little trick for your yamaha nitro once again i'm video with casual customs i'll see you in the next one you stole my heart of gold after my silver song.